I did a cover of Hey Joe recently and it got a little bit of backlash <laughs> because it wasn't exactly like Jimi Hendrix did it. Strike one, I'm not Jimi Hendrix. I'm Helen and I'm going to do it like me. I'm going to play like me <laughs> and no, nobody else. Strike two, I probably wouldn't sing the words. I would probably play around the progression and stuff like that, but it's still the same progression. <laughs> Strike three, somebody said that I was sitting down and Jimi Hendrix never sits down and people don't sit down to play the blues. <laughs> <laughs> if Jimi Hendrix were alive today and by some miracle <laughs> I happened to meet him and he said, Helen, how would you play Hey Joe? I would play it the exact same way. That's the way that I interpreted the song in my head and I can do it like 20 different ways but it will always sound like me every time. When you click on a cover song, what, what are you expecting? What do you want to hear? Do you want it to be exactly like the original song? Would you be offended if the artist puts their own spin on the song? I understand that we have emotional attachment to songs and by listening to a song would relieve the memory of what happened when we were listening to it. It could be dancing with your wife or a road trip, just something that associates you to the memory of that song. And it's understandable that you would not like anybody to ruin it <laughs> or to ruin that experience. Every piece of music has an essence, a birthplace, a foundation, and elements of it that cannot be changed. Regardless of whatever spin I want to put on a song, I have to acknowledge that essence and respect it even. For example, um, Bob Dylan's All Along the Watchtower that was covered by Jimi Hendrix. Some people will say that uh, the Jimi Hendrix version is the ninth version and Bob Dylan's version is the day version. The core element of the song was still there obviously but you can see the differences in their approach to arrangements to music and to rhythm and on and on and on through time there's been several 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 covers like that where you can't even tell which one you like better the cover or the original because of the different elements that various musicians add to a piece of music that just that just makes it theirs. When I do cover songs, I want people to hear the original through me, through my style, through the way that I play. Even if it's a little bit different, like I said before, there's always going to be the essence of the original song in every cover that I do. I will not deviate from that. The idea is to reimagine, to put your own artistic stamp, call it your secret sauce, and that is the stuff that makes you different from everybody else, and it is your uniqueness. It will be pretty unrealistic for me to assume that everybody's going to like what I do. I've put myself on the internet, so I've learned to have a pretty tough skin towards negativity. At the same time, welcome constructive criticism. What exactly is the point of cover songs? In my own opinion, I feel like it is a way to keep a song alive, to keep an artist alive, to just get different perspectives of the artistic mind and what artists are thinking and how they think. It's important not to stifle an artist's expression and an artist's um, curiosity and exploration and experimentation, you know? <laughs> because I think that that's one of the most important things uh, in music, in artistry. It's a tough balance between audience expectation and artistic freedom. At the end of the day, ultimately, the idea is to have fun, build musicianship, and just enjoy the process of creating music. It's wonderful. As music lovers, as a music audience, it takes a certain level of open-mindedness to listen to a fresh interpretation different from the usual stuff that you know and it's also important to listen with the awareness of the choices that the musician has made and maybe you can decipher why they did it like this or why they did it differently but there's always something to learn you have to be aware that this is <laughs> a different person a different artist creativity variety fresh perspectives diversity brings 
a certain kind of color to the music community, to the music environment. It's what makes this place interesting. It's amazing to just watch someone translate something in their own way, you know? I think that it's a beautiful thing and it, it should be encouraged in the music community instead of being judged and looked down upon even if you don't agree with it and even if it's not your thing it's just nice to appreciate a fresh or a different perspective that is the way that musicians can grow that is the way that musicians can explore their sound and can discover what works for them it builds confidence it builds musicianship thank you so much for watching i also want to say a very big thank you to all of my patreon supporters you really keep me going and this channel going thank you so much thank you all for watching i'll see you in the next one bye